And just like that, we have Llama 3. This is the most capable, openly available large language model to date. We're entering a new age where open source models are surpassing or are on par with GPT-4. And it's just absolutely insane to see. This is an insane model that comes with two pairs. They released an 8 billion as well as a 70 billion parameter model. And these models will soon be accessible across various platforms such as AWS, Google Cloud, Hugging Face, and so many other avenues. Now, it's going to come with support from leading hardware products such as NVIDIA. And we can see that with these two models from a bird's eye perspective that reasonability is the key focus here with the introduction of two new trust and safety tools like llama guard 2 as well as code shield and they have further advancements as expected where they're going to include expanded capabilities longer context windows as well as improved performance now meta ai powered by llama 3's technology is highlighting as leading ai assistant they're promising to enhance intelligence and productivity with these two new models and the release of him is going to showcase the state of the art performance with improved reasoning abilities and focus on coding and mathematics this initiative is aiming to foster an innovation across various ai applications tools as well as optimizations and it's going to emphasize community involvement and feedback now throughout today's video we're going to be exploring the capabilities of these two new models showcasing the benchmarks and so much more so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at meta ai's new release which is the llama 3 model now the funny thing is that this was something that we actually predicted not in terms of the exact date but something that we were actually predicting to be released at the end of april and luckily we got it even before the dates that I predicted but we can see that this is the best open source model that is out there and it's on par with the best proprietary models that are available today such as gpt4 now they've listened to a lot of developers as well as the community and they maintain a focus on reasonable usage now one of their goals was to embrace open source principles and they release models early and frequently to involve the community they've introduced the text-based models which is released now but now they're planning on expanding to have llama 3 having the integration of multilingual as well as multimodal and this is with longer context improved performance as well as in areas such as reasoning and coding so things just got way better in all of those capabilities and categories now the two new models that they've just recently released re represents a significant advancement in comparison to its previous model which is the llama 2 model and it sets a new standard for large language models at these scales now through enhancements in both pre-training as well as post-training processes their pre-trained and instruction fine-tuned models are currently the best available in the respective parameter ranges now in terms of the post-training improvements they have notably reduced false refusal rates this is where they there's improved alignment and diversified model responses. They've also witnessed substantial enhancements in capabilities such as reasoning, code generation, as well as instruction following. And it basically makes Llama 3 more adaptable. Now, they've also focused on optimizing the performance of real world applications, which is something that we're seeing with many different institutions such as Devon, or sorry, the Cogn Cognition, because that's the team behind Devon. And mostly all these different frameworks and tools have been working on focusing to implement AI in the real world aspect and in this case meta AI has been developing a comprehensive human evaluation set which is comprising of 1800 prompts covering 12 key use cases so they're trying to focus on the real world aspect with AI and it's basically solving a lot of problems with this new model and this basically includes asking for advice, brainstorming, coding, creative writing, reasoning, summarization, and so many other options. Now, to ensure the unbiased evaluation, even with their own modeling teams, they basically were able to aggregate results off of their human evaluation across various categories. And this is where they covered prompts, compared it against existing benchmarks such as Claude Sonnet, you have Mistral, Medium, as well as GPT 3.5. And they are basically displayed over here where you can see that the meta 3 8 billion parameter model is surpassing 
on every benchmark in comparison to the Gamma 7 billion parameter model as well as the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. And if you are to take a look at the Mish or Meta AI Llama 3 model, it is outperforming Gemini's Pro 1.5 model as well as the Claude 3 Sonnet model, which is just great to see as this is an open source model that you will be able to access for commercial as well as for personal use cases. Now, just take a look at this figure where we're taking a look at the Llama 3 Instruct Human Evaluation, which is showcasing the win and loss rate in comparison to all of these other models. And we can see that their model is setting a new standard for large language models at these scales. It is outpacing all of these other models and is showcasing a higher win percentage rate. Now, this is a new component that Meta AI has released where you're going to be able to ask Meta AI, which is the new Llama 3 model right over here in this new integrated component that they just recently released. You can see that you can ask it anything and you're going to be able to test out the capabilities of it right over here. Now, obviously, you're going to be able to install it using the model card locally or have it hosted on a cloud server, which I will leave a link to in the description below. I'll potentially be also making another video, which is going to showcase how you can install it. But in this case you can test out its capabilities so in this case you can create a packing list which is a like a simple prompt that is being given to llama 3 and it's going to give you a generation as well as giving you just a good idea as to what the capabilities are of this model Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, you can actually access the Meta Llama 3 8 billion instruct model on Hugging Face as well as the 70 billion parameter model, which I'll leave a link to in the description below so that you can get started with it right away. Let's now take a look at the model architecture where they basically describe that in Llama 3, they've adopted a relatively standard decoder, which is a transformer architecture. It's aligning to their design philosophy and where if you are to compare it to Llama 2, they've implemented several key advancements and enhancements to this, where Llama 3 is gonna utilize a tokenizer with the vocabulary of 128K tokens, which is leading to be more efficient in terms of language encoding as well as significantly improved in terms of its overall performance. Now to boost the inference efficiency, they've introduced this grouped query attention across both 8 billion as well as their 70 billion parameter models. So during the training, these models are able to process sequences of 8,192 tokens with a masking me mechanism, which is gonna ensure a self-attention that stays within the document's boundaries, which is gonna overall make it a little bit more efficient and and it's going to also improve the efficiency in comparison to how they basically developed the architecture of Llama 2. Now, in regards to the training data, they've heavily invested in curating a large high quality data set for this new model where they pre-trained to over 15 trillion tokens that are sourced from publicly available data. And this is actually seven times larger than the original data set that they've used for Llama 2. And it includes four times more code where they've now included real coding examples, which are which is going to basically generate better code and going to solve real world problems. Now, in, in anticipation of their multilingual use case, which is over 5% in pre-training data set, which is comprising of high quality non-English data. And it spans to over 30 languages. Now it's obviously important to note that the performance in these languages are not going to match the same level as it would within English, but it's just great to see that they're focusing on various other languages. Now to ensure top tier training data quality, they've developed rigorous data filtering pipelines that are incorporating heuristic filters, NSFW filters, you have semantic deduplication methods, as well as text classifiers, which are all leveraging the impressive data identification abilities, which is from their previous Llama models, where they've actually employed the Llama 2 model to generate training data for text quality. And it's gonna basically power Llama 3 based off of that. Now they've also had extensive experiments with conducted 
to determine the optimal methods for blending the data into this original to this new model and this is from diverse sources and it's going to be in the final pre-training data set this is the approach that they've basically developed to make sure that they have scaled a beautiful training data set for creating this new model which is the largest open source model and it is basically on par with the proprietary models such as gpt 3.5 as well as getting close to gpt4 now, I truly recommend that you take a look at their blog post because there is a lot more details to this, which they go through each and every small component. This is not just the start. They're going to be working on over a 400 billion parameter model. And this is where it's currently still in training, but it's going to be coming out in the next couple of months. This is a 400 billion parameter model, which is going to be absolutely insane, guys. We're going to be covering a lot more on this, a lot more technical reports which will be coming out soon. And this is where we're going to be covering all these different features so that we can get a better idea as to what you can do with Llama 3. But I'll leave all the tools as well as all the links that I use in today's video in the description below so that you can get started with it right away. But with that thought, guys, make sure you follow us on the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to get subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.